In this video, I will demonstrate an alternative way in which NGIF can be used. Let us say that I want to display an error message based on some user action. The error message is not static and the error message may change dynamically. Since the error message is dynamic, I am going to include a property named error in app.component.ts to hold the error message. There is a compilation error that the property is not initialized. To overcome this, I am including filter character after string followed by undefined. The filter character is part of TypeScript syntax, which is used to define multiple data types. Here, error property during runtime can be a string or undefined. After inclusion of undefined, we can see the compilation error gone. I am going to include the error message on the click of this button. For this button, event binding is already implemented. When the button is clicked, the btn clicked function is called. So I am going to make use of this function to change the error text. I am including a new line in btn clicked function. Here I am assigning the error property with some error text. In app.component.html, I am including a div tag to display the error message using interpolation. I am applying border color as red for the error message using styles attribute. I am going to save both the files and check how it works. Once the page is reloaded, we can see that a border is displayed in the page but its content is empty. If I click the button, the error text is displayed based on the code that we included in app.component.ts. Let me refresh the browser so that we can see how the page was initially displayed. We can see that no error message is getting displayed in the page but the border gets displayed. We can realize that it would be good if the border is not displayed when error text is not defined. This can be implemented using the alternative functionality provided by ngif directive. In the div tag, I am including the asterisk ngif attribute with value as error. In the place of boolean expression, I have defined the error property from the component class. If the property value is null or undefined, the div element is removed from the DOM. If the property has a value, then the element is included in the DOM. After these changes, let me save and check how the page works after it reloads. Now we can see that there is no red border displayed. If I click on the button, we can see the error text displayed with red border. Hope this video helps you understand the alternative way NJF directive can be used. With this, we are concluding the learning related to NGIF directive. There are many other ways and syntax by which NGIF can be implemented. There is also a reason why asterisk is prefixed before NGIF. All these additional information might be overwhelming for a beginner, hence further elaboration will not be provided in this course. If you are interested, you can search and find relevant documents in internet. Whatever learnt in this video and previous video is sufficient enough to implement the basic functionality to show or remove an element from DOM. Try whatever I have demonstrated in this video. Let me summarize the changes to be done. In app.component.ts, include error property then include this line of code in btn clicked function. If you don't have this button already, include this button and include this function using event binding. Then in app.component.html, include this div tag. In the next video, we will learn ng for structural directive.